Sit down, boy. That's the longest fur turkey I've ever seen right there. What makes the Four Seasons Ranch such a good place to turkey hunt is the cover. They have a lot of good cover for nesting grounds. They have a lot of good hatches. They have a lot of open areas. Turkeys love open areas. And these turkeys can hide really fast, get away from predators. There's a lot of predator control there as well. And there's low hunting pressure. So this means lots of Rios and lots of Rios that will come to your turkey call. <laughs> turkey Hunter is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Knight's Hunting Products, makers of the hands-free hunting vest. Legacy Premium Game Calls, it's not luck, it's legacy. Indian Creek Shooting Systems, makers of the Black Diamond Strike. Browning Trail Cameras, the most innovative trail cameras in the industry. Four Seasons Ranch, a world-class hunting experience. Strut no more turkey totes, get a grip on them. Well, the past couple of days at Four Seasons Ranch have been on fire. We started out with a double with Lamar and Reno behind the gun. <laughs> yes. The next day, Seth had a big three-year-old that marched straight down the Sendero to his gun barrel. Later that day, Reno had a silent bird slip in and pick a fight with a decoy. And to finish up a phenomenal day at the Four Seasons Ranch, Lamar had an absolutely beautiful hunt when a three-year-old bird come marching down a sendero full of beautiful wildflowers. <laughs> well, what a perfect ending to a great day of turkey hunting. Everybody's tickled. Seth and I know exactly where we want to be the next morning. We saw a lot more turkey tracks and we heard some more birds gobbling. So we come back the next morning. I'm running the gun. Seth's behind the camera, but I told him to bring his brown in just in case. I mean, we are at the Four Seasons Ranch and you never know what could happen. We are at Four Seasons Ranch. We're at a new location. And we're gonna slip around them, get it set up in an area with some low grass, and uh, put the decoy out there and do some calling, and maybe pull another turkey out of here. <laughs> They're just everywhere in here. I guess cloud them up. Well, Seth and I get there early the next morning, cover of darkness to our advantage, and we slip in. We slip all the way back to that field Kevin was talking about, the wildflowers, and we post up. You'll put both of them out of just one. We know the turkeys are still there because they gobbled when we were at the truck. <laughs> we know they're there. Quail are everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. I heard a hen yipping in. This is a pretty place right here. These turkeys are roosted behind us. But there's a road that cuts through the field and they kind of do a U right here. Grass is really low. It looks like a great place. They like to strut and carry on. Beautiful location right here. I got Reno in behind me and Seth running the big camera. We got cameras everywhere, so maybe we'll look out and get a turkey right here. They're in here. Well, we get everything set up. We get decoys out. We find us a good place to tuck in. It starts breaking daylight. Turkeys start gobbling. Sure enough, they're about 400 yards, but they're just not hot.
So we just kind of lay back and kind of let things unfold. Turkeys hit the ground and they pretty much shut up. Seth and I look at each other and we're just like, let's just wait it out right here. This is a known area. You can tell there's turkey tracks everywhere. Let's just wait right here. Surely to God, something's gonna get fired up a little bit mid-morning. About three hours goes by and we're randomly calling, pretty calling every now and then just to let something know we're there. Seth gets his box call out and we finally get one to answer. Right here. Well, it wasn't long and we catch movement to our right and there's two gobblers coming right to the decoy. Well, these birds are punch drunk. They go right to the decoy. They do their dance, do their thing. And finally, I get the cue, go ahead and shoot the one in the front. Got him. Got him. Now, when I shot the first one, the second one kind of hesitated and Seth ain't the guy that's gonna let an opportunity pass. So he lets go of the camera and picks his browning up. <laughs> That was awesome, dude. <laughs> double, buddy, double. That was incredible, dude. Oh, thank you, Lord. There just ain't nothing finer than that. Oh, they sure did. I'm glad they didn't walk up on us. Look at that. Oh, you're beautiful. Neck broke. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh, look at that re -up. Look at that. <laughs> Good two-year-olds, actors, <laughs> actors, brother. A couple of acting two-year-olds. Look at that. Right there. <laughs> they gobbled and they gobbled and they, dude, that's awesome. Four seasons. Four seasons. That's man. fine as it gets. Them decoys fooled them, didn't they? They sure did. That was a hunt. That was a hunt. That right was there. a turkey hunt is what that was. That's what I love about it. You know, you can go from zero to a hundred in no time. That's right, we were just talking about that. We're sitting there talking about leaving. <laughs> we caught, you know, slow morning. Yes. Just nothing really going on and then. They get fired up? They get fired up. That's that cool. box call. I've never seen nothing to beat it. They will answer that box call over anything out here. Last 30 minutes, how many gobbles have we heard? There's no, t pushing a hundred. And then in first, first three hours you heard nothing <laughs> so. i don't know what the deal was this morning i don't know if it was a pressure change or what but they just would not talk and finally got fired up what's mid-morning now and uh seth pulled these bad boys in with that box call okay they covered the ground you could hear them gobbling way in behind yeah, us they, and they probably came 400 yards or every so, bit I'd of say. it man and then we finished them off and they, they saw the decoy and it was just all but, all but over then. Man, when, I, when I saw those red heads coming through there, I'm oh, like, oh boy. There's nothing more yeah. exciting than that. <laughs> and we got a double. We sure did. At four seasons. <laughs> that Indian Creek. I'm That's unbelievable. He was every bit of 50 yards. All day. Man, look, look at the head on that thing. That's unreal. The, the pattern on that Indian Creek chuck tube is just ridiculous. It really is, to be honest. I mean, that, I was looking at him, calling to him, trying to get him to stop, and I'm like, yeah. man, he's pretty far. Boom, and yeah. it just <laughs> decapitated him, son. That's just incredible. What a hunt here at Four Seasons Ranch. I'm telling you, I love turkey hunting. There's just <sighs> nothing in this world like it. No, sir. Every hunt's different. That's right. And I remember every last one of them. That's exactly right. <laughs> And this one's gonna be hard to forget, let me tell you. That was awesome. Buddy. Hi. I have a great time. Yes, sir. We, anytime we hunt together That's right. is a great time. That first, was a first double we've ever done together. <laughs> and it was a good one. I mean just actors. Uh, and 
man, this is good as it gets. This ends, this ends two crazy action-packed days. Yeah. We had an afternoon, a full day, and then a morning, and we have shot eight birds <laughs> yes. in that amount of time. That's, that's some ridiculous. That's some first class Rio hunting. Right? It's the best I've ever seen. Yeah. It really is. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Gorgeous Rio Grand Turkey. Look at that. Four seasons ranch, guys. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> Look at that. Man, that was awesome. Two days, eight birds. That's what hunting these Rios is all about. Four Seasons Ranch, there's just nothing finer.